very first community event here in Oklahoma City, chance to give back to the kids. Just what was your impression of today? Oh, it's incredible. You know, um, it feels like just yesterday I was in the same situation going to camps like this. Uh, it's amazing that I have a chance to give back. You know, I always looked up to the people that came and talked to us at camps. And the fact that I have an opportunity to do the same thing, you know, try and make a difference in kids' lives, is it's indescribable. Growing up in Montana, there weren't a lot of professional basketball players coming to see you, though. What, what is this like to be able to be a part of a camp where all of a sudden an NBA player strolls in? It's great. I mean, you know, all these kids, they love basketball, and, you know, a lot of kids' dreams growing up is to be able to play in the NBA and everything like that. And, you know, I want to show them that it's doable. You know, just fall, you know, work hard, everything like that, do everything you can, and at the end of the day, everything will work out how it's supposed to. At this age, what's important for them to be learning? Seem like they got a lot of drills in today. You know, it's really important to, you know, kind of teach the basics of basketball and everything like that. To me, at this age, it's all about falling in love with the game first. I think when they're young and everything like that, too much drilling and trying to make it, you know, super organized and everything like that might burn them out. But just help them fall in love with the game first, and then, you know, if they want to keep pursuing it, then they'll do that. Josh, what did you think of Summer League, your experience down there, and what you might have learned? It was great. Uh, it was a great learning experience for me. You know, my first NBA type atmosphere and everything like that. Um, was able to, you know, figure out a little bit more about the speed of the game, get to play against a lot of great players, uh, figure my way around the offense, everything like that, play with the guys. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm really looking forward to the season getting going and being able to play with them. What maybe surprised you down there? Was it maybe the speed of the game or other things? You know, for me, it was probably uh, just the difference in size of the players between college and NBA. You know, college, I could step on the floor and, you know, I'd always be one of the bigger guys and one of the stronger guys, but you'd get out there in the NBA floor and everybody's just, you know, everybody's a grown man, everybody's big. Um, so that's, you know, that's the hardest thing to get used to, but I think, you know, just getting in the weight room some more and have me ready. Josh, kids say funny things. I heard a couple of the kiddos out here ask you some interesting questions and say some funny things. What was your conversation like with these kids? It's funny, like you said. Uh, I mean, they're just so they're so curious. Um, they've got so many different questions, kind of all over the place. You know, there's the basketball questions, and then there's, you know, it was fun because they started to chant like "dunk it, dunk it," trying to tell me to dunk the ball. But uh, you know, I heard Mitch was in here dunking the ball, and I just left it. To, I'll just leave it to him. <laughs> I don't know if I could uh, get anything out of me right now. We just finished up with the workout. <laughs> what were some of the things that they asked you? Uh, you know, I mean. They would just ask me, you know, one of the best questions I got a couple of times actually was why, you know, why do you like playing defense? Like, why is defense important? Um, and, you know, to me, that's a really important question just because t I told them, you know, offense doesn't always go every single day. Shots don't fall all the time. But defense is something you can do every single day. Uh, it's all about hard work and whatever you can do to help your team win. When did you adopt that mentality, just that defense mentality? You know, I've, I've had it a lot. Uh, in high school, that was something I took pride in. And then especially when I got to college, um, I got in there, you know, and defense was how I got playing time. Uh, you know, I really realized that going into it, offense wasn't exactly what I was brought there to do at first. So defensively, I wanted to be somebody that could come and lock somebody down and rebound because that was what would get me on the floor. And once I saw how that affected the game and got me more time, then I really adopted that, menta that mentality. Do you take more pride in shutting someone down or scoring? Shutting someone down. I mean, I think it's something that there's so many scorers in this league. Like, they, you know, NBA's got all the scorers they need, but, you know, there's always room for guys that can come and lock people down. Um, and that's somebody I want to be. Anybody else? Maybe the coaches uh, tell you after summer league that they'd like to see you work on as we get toward training camp? You know, I think it's just a lot of different things. Um, continuing to work on my offensive game, you know, working on ball handling and shooting, just continuing to expand my game. Uh, you know, I think that I'm somebody that can be really versatile for the team and do a lot of different things. And I think as long as I keep working on a variety of things, it'll help me see time. Josh, when did you fall in love with the game? Early. Uh, you know, I started playing because my dad played and I just wanted to be like him. But, you know, once I saw the feeling that it gives you, the amazing feeling of playing with your teammates, uh, winning and just, you know, progressing and seeing, your, you know, your dreams come true. It's just, I can't imagine living my life without it just lit up when you were interacting with them. What does it mean to you to know that, like you said, you were in their shoes not too long ago, but now you're the role model, you're the idol of these kids? Uh, it's surreal. Um, you know, I've always wanted to be somebody that can affect lives. Uh, you know, like basketball is great and everything, but at the end of the day, what I mainly want to do is I want to find a way to change the world. And if I could come in here and 
reach one kid even, that's, you know, that's fine with me. Um, it's just a great experience, and I want to do more of it. Yeah, uh, no, my birth father. Yeah, my birth father played basketball. He played at Colorado, then played overseas professionally, too. Did you get a chance to play against him much growing up? <laughs> no, I played him a couple of times. I beat him, too, but he won't admit it. But, uh, <laughs> what was that feeling like the first time you were able to beat him? Great. It was awesome. I mean, um, you know, because I always looked up to him. You know, he's, it was always this figure to me that, of what I wanted to be in basketball. And then the, the first time I was finally able to do it, it was, it was a great feeling. Are you anxious to get on the court with Kevin Russ? Oh, of course. I mean, I'm really anxious and really excited to be able to play with them. You know, you've got you know, two of the best players in the world, and just the opportunity I have to learn from them is something I'm really excited for.